Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts update video. I am recording with a new mic. I think the last one I had kind of wasn't really working anymore, so I went ahead and replaced it. So hopefully the sound will be a little bit better in this video, I hope. Um, I, I'm starting to have some things pile up, so I'm going to put them away. And before I do that, I'd like to show a little video and record one since it's been about a week or so since I did one and I'm trying to keep regular content on the channel so um, I don't have a lot of horror stuff to show in this particular video I do have a couple things I do have a kind of a little mishmash I have some Kino I have a new code red a new arrow title um, I have a little stack of films I watched when I was a kid at my grandparents house and I got them for the right price. It's a little stack of Kino titles I'll share with you guys. I got a little stack of Hanna-Barbera animated shows, again, that I grew up with when I was a kid. And I have a, a box set from the UK that I'm happy to add to the collection. I have a Clint Eastwood box set and a couple of vinyl albums that I'd like to share with you guys. Uh, one of them, it's actually the same album, it was just reissued recently and I'm going to show you the difference between the original and the reissue so let's get into the little stack of Kino that I got first the first one is Trilogy of Terror this one's been out for a little while now and I know that it does come with a booklet and I wanted to go ahead and pick it up while the slipcover was still available and the booklet is still here so I picked this up on Amazon it was pretty cheap this is a trilogy starring the, the late great Karen Black and this is one I have not seen since the original VHS release of this. And this is the 4K restoration of the film by legendary producer-director Dan Curtis, who also did the Night Stalker and the Night Strangler. And this one does have some new audio commentary, and it also has a vintage uh, audio commentary with Karen Black and a couple of other uh, special features there. There's one that's called Three Colors Black Featurette. Um, this one does come with the limited edition booklet, but I have a feeling this one will be gone pretty soon. It's been out for a while. Uh, it's a film from 1975 and it's pretty short. It's only 72 minutes. And this is Region A. It's a pretty cool slipcover. I like the artwork on there showing the character that Karen Black played. Pretty plain Jane Blu-ray, like Kino does. Usually they don't have reversible covers or booklets. Every once in a while they do, but this one does have a couple pages. There's Karen Black. Some little write-ups about the film. There's a pretty recognizable image for those of you who have seen this. I'm sure pretty much all of you have seen this one by now. There's the cast of characters and the crew. So I was glad to finally pick this one up and not have to worry about chasing down a slipcover or a booklet for this one. And I think the price was about 10 bucks or so, 10 to 12 bucks, I believe, on Amazon. So that is Trilogy of Terror. Uh, the next one just came in the mail today. This was purchased at RoninFlix.com, which I strongly recommend them. I don't really say enough good things about Ronin Flix. They're a very good company, and they do distribute a lot of the Code Red and Scorpion releasing titles. Very, very fast shipping, always um, nicely secured. It, they ship this one particular Blu-ray in a box, which I thought was pretty cool. A lot of companies would just throw them in a padded mailer and send them out to you, but they sent it in a box and I do appreciate that because as collectors we don't want any dings or anything in our on our um, slip covers so I already went ahead and flipped the cover that's the one I'm gonna go with there is the newly commissioned art it almost looks kind of comic booky to me but I do like it it's different and this is code red spine 173 for those of you keeping score at home a nice little backwoods slasher film. Five friends set out for a weekend camping excursion to drink Frolic and Skinny Dip. Oh, how we've seen that movie before, but this is the original uncut version, and it does have an extended cut. 
this is all region two. That's pretty cool, and it's approximately 91 minutes. The extended cut is 102 minutes, so you do get two versions of the film on here, and the film is from 1981. And I do recommend this one if you guys want to take a look at more of these special features. You get some new on-camera interviews and you get some vintage interviews, so that's cool. There's what the flipped cover looks like. I like that red and yellow color scheme. It looks pretty cool. And there's the disc art. That is Code Red's Just Before Dawn, purchased at Ronin Flicks. This one should probably be a pretty hot ticket, so grab it. The next one I got yesterday in the mail. This is Arrow's latest release. The Lee Van Cleef film, The Grand Duel. This is the Region A American release of the film. It is a 2K restoration. And you get a bunch of special features. I own this film several times. I have it on Blu-ray, and I believe Kino put out a release of this earlier on, on the twin billing a few years back. This is a film from 1972, so it's a, it's a little bit later in the spaghetti western genre, but um, it's a good one nonetheless. You can watch it with uh, English or Italian dialogue, and you can also watch it with English subtitles. And if you want to take a look at the special features, there's a ton. Uh, the one that caught my eye says um, there's a short sci-fi film called Game Over, an obscure sci-fi short from 1984 directed by Bernard Villiat and starring the Grand Duels, Mark Mazza. So I thought that was pretty cool that they threw in a little obscure short film. So let's take a look at the inside here. It says um, it has commissioned artwork by Matt Griffin. So I believe that is the commissioned art, and then the original will be on the inside. This one does come with a booklet. There's the disc. And there is the original cover. Filmed by Giancarlo Santi. Let's see what our art card is. Horrors of Malformed Men, which I just recently picked up through the Arrow sale. I got it for under 10 bucks. I thought that was a great deal. So let's take a look through the booklet here. You can see an aging Lee Van Cleef. Very nice glossy photos and a ton of write ups about the film. Some original reviews from the year the film was released, 1973. You can see some vintage reviews about the film. They're about to string them up. Very, very cool. Glad to have this edition added to the Arrow and Western collection. So that is The Grand Duel, starring Lee Van Cleef. And another little cheapie I picked up, which I happen to enjoy. This is Warcraft. This is the Blu-ray and the 4K disc. I, I really enjoy these type of films. So I just this is kind of a guilty pleasure for me. I just picked it up really cheap on Amazon. It was under 10 bucks. It was new. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Just wanted to show that so I can put it away. I guess uh, Next, I'll show you another little stack of Kino titles that I picked up. These um, particular movies, starring Bing Crosby, Dorothy Lamore, and Bob Hope, these are this is the Road Two series. And start starting in the early 1940s, actually 1940 exactly. This uh, comedic trio, uh, 
came out with Road to Singapore, and I remember watching these on public television back in the, I guess, 80s, early to mid 80s. And these, these were kind of fun watches. I remember watching them at my grandparents' house. And my grandpa was a big fan of Bing Crosby, and I, I am too. So I just wanted to pick these up. These were really cheap. I got these in the latest Kino sale. Um, so I got Road to Singapore from 1940. They also had Road to Zanzibar from 1941. Road to Morocco, uh, 1942. Road to Utopia. I'm just going to kind of breeze through these. I have a feeling you, most of you guys don't really care about these. If you have any questions or you want to know more about these, just leave a comment and I'll, I'll respond to you. Road to Utopia came out in '46. And then Road to Rio came out in 1947. And then a few years later, five years later, they came out with Road to Bali. And this was going to be the last one. But then in 1962, they came out with Road to Hong Kong, which Kino has not released. They don't have the rights to it. It does have a Blu-ray release, but I'm not sure which company owns that. So I don't have that one right now, but these are the ones that Kino has released. So I grabbed all but one, The Road to Hong Kong. So I'm glad to have those in the collection. Uh, I did grab a nice little stack of Hanna-Barbera cartoons, and these were pretty cheap again on, on uh, Amazon. I got The Secret Squirrel Show, which is 26 episodes, and the show came out in 1965. This is the original run of 26 episodes. Um, and then later it was revived, and it had 13 more episodes. So technically there are... 39 episodes but this set only has the first 26 from 1965 so I was glad to pick that up and I have Speed Buggy this was a show from 1973 this is all 16 episodes it's a four disc set if you're interested in any of these Hanna-Barbera you can go to Warner Archive or wbshop.com or go where I go Amazon you can get these really cheap the Dukes this was a show from 1983 this is the complete series of 20 episodes I also got Adam Ant this was 26 episodes this one lasted a little bit longer this one ran from 65 to, I believe, 67. It ran for two full seasons. And this is a three-disc set. I got Jabberjaw. This is a show from 1976. And this is the complete run of 16 episodes. The four discs at 16 episodes. The show took place in the year 2076 about a 15 foot talking great white shark. Many of you guys probably remember these cartoons. This one was fun. This was the Super Globe Trotters from 1979 and they did a crossover on Scooby-Doo. You guys probably remember that. And this is the full 13 episode run of the show. And the last one I got really cheap. I believe this was about like five bucks. And this is the, I guess they're calling it the Christmas Classics Collection. You get the town Santa Forgot, which is a, what was it, 25 minute cartoon that ran in 1993. And then you get A Christmas Story, which was also 25 minutes, and that one came out in 1972 and Casper's First Christmas from 1979. So I'm glad to add this to the Hanna-Barbera. There we go, there's the running time. Glad to add those to the Hanna-Barbera collection. I was also able to pick up Irwin Allen's Land of the Giants. This is the complete series. And I bought this on Amazon US, but this is a UK import. So you do have to have a um, region free DVD player to view these. And many of you remember Irwin Allen shows he did um, Lost in Space and the Time Tunnel. 
and he also did Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Those were his probably his most famous sci-fi uh, television series. And he also did the Poseidon Adventure in the Towering Inferno in the 70s. So you do get all 51 episodes, plus it says a wealth of special features, including, you can see there, you get commentary, outtakes, unaired version of the pilot episode, and there's a Mad Magazine parody. I'm very much, I'm very happy to add this into the collection. This is a great show. I like the way that they did these with the swing trays. Looks like some of them popped out. So, <laughs> And they kind of stack some of them. I'm not a fan of stack discs, but it is what it is. What are you going to do? But they have the swing tray. You can see some of these popped out. And the, the bad thing about DVDs is they will scratch very easy, whereas Blu-rays are a little more protected. I guess I'll put these in off camera so I don't scratch them up. But I believe they said there was, um, did it say there was nine discs? 42 hours plus extras. And you do get the full frame 4-3 picture ratio. And the original show ran from 68 to 69. So I'm glad to pick this up and add it to the collection. And I'll put those discs way off camera. But this is a pretty cool set. This fat pack here. It's a 14 disc set, by the way. I thought it was 9. but So very glad to add that to the collection. A couple more things to show, and then we'll wrap this up. I got this little Clint Eastwood box set. This was on my wish list for a long time. These are some of Clint Eastwood's more obscure titles. This is his eight movie collection. This has been out for a while. You can actually get this on Amazon for about 30 to 35 bucks now. So the price is low. I remember when this first came out, it was around 100 bucks. So um, back in the, I think it was around the mid to late 90s, I joined a Time Life VHS club that shipped out a Clint Eastwood movie once a month. And these were some of the original titles that I remember getting in that in that uh, little series. The very first one I got from that Time Life VHS was Play Misty for Me, which uh, features his, at the time, girlfriend. No, that wasn't this one. This one's uh, co-star Jessica Walter. But I know that he did a lot of... Uh, he did a lot of... Um, movies with Sandra Locke and that's I kind of mistook her for that one but you get the Iger Sanction you get Breezy you get High Plains Drifter you get Joe Kidd Play Misty for Me The Beguiled Two Mules for Sister Sarah and Coogan's Bluff all for around like 35 bucks and if you have Amazon Prime you get free shipping so you can't beat that deal at all and I was glad to pick this up I'm sure at some point some of these will get 4K releases. I don't need these movies on 4K. I'm very happy to have these on Blu-ray in this little box set for 35 bucks. So I snatched it up, added it to the collection. And finally, I recently picked up the latest from Waxwork Records. They reissued this bad boy here. This one was the original Friday the 13th soundtrack on Wax. And this one went out in print and it was going for crazy money. But they did re-release it. So those of you who missed it out the first time, missed out on it the first time, you can get it now. And I'm just going to show you the difference. There's, there's no difference other than the color of the wax. And this is the reissue right here. There's absolutely not a thing different. You can't even tell the difference between the two side by side. There's no variation. There's no extras. It's the same artwork. The only thing that's different is, I'll show you guys, is the vinyl. And the reissue has this, I guess, kind of a, uh, you wouldn't want to call it like a, I don't know, kind of an orange with red swirls in it. And I, I happen to like the original a little bit better. It has kind of a murky green color, and I'll show you the guys that right now. And you, it looks black, 
but when you hold it up to the light, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that it's got kind of a green, kind of a murky green to kind of look like the um, Camp Crystal Lake. So that was my little haul. I know it wasn't really that impressive, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below. Thank you for viewing and spending a little bit of your time with me. I always do appreciate that. I will catch you guys in the next video. Later.